Good afternoon. This is Don from R&I. I uh, just wanted to get together with you this afternoon and give you a quick overview of a lift we put together for one of our customers up in the Northeast. It's a bakery. Uh, you can see their roll right here. It's a 268-pound uh, roll that we're going to pick up with this lifter unit. This is a 19,000 series unit. The unit's made up of a number of parts. You have the legs, you have the width, you have the battery pack, we have an adjustable handlebar, we have the lift mast, we have a control box. On the back of the power pack, we have a place where we charge the batteries. Uh, the power cord and the two-butt remote is also plugged into the back of the power pack. Um, from the back end, you can see you have a three-position brake system, locked, free, and then directional locked. Here's your power pack. Here's your adjustable handlebar. Here are the controls that operate your tooling. We have one button to close and we have two buttons. One button on the top and one button on the side to open the arms. We have a joystick for rotate right, rotate left. And again, here's the lift mast. I'm going to go over and pick up the roll, rotate it, and show you how the unit works. The left arm is fixed. We do have some what we call dampening arms here. Well, they will uh, they will pick up the the side of the uh, the roll. This arm is fixed, and this arm will be the arm that's going to move in and out when I squeeze the roll and pick it up. So you go in, cut your left arm off. We're going to center the roll up. We're going to press one button to close. We squeeze the roll. We use the two button remote to pick the roll up. We back the roll away from the pallet. We now use the joystick to rotate right. We always want the fixed arm on the bottom. At this point, the operator can put a shaft through the roll and insert it into the machine. And then once you insert it into the machine, the roll, the arms will open up like a clamshell and allow you to then deposit the roll into the machine and get the lifter ready for the next transport. I'm now rotating the roll back to a vertical position where I will take it back over and put it on a pallet. I will now press two buttons and I will open the arms.